going on everybody and welcome to the channel today. I am on my way currently up to the shop and we're gonna have ourselves a little bit of a discussion. Just made it up here to the shop. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Russell, and today we're gonna to be talking about something very, very special that has just happened. All right guys, so I just got the Mark 7 GTI in here. It's filthy dirty. I like to wash it here sometimes today. I get it all nice and cleaned up, but like I said, let's get on to the point of this video. I'm actually gonna take my sunglasses off for this one. Uh, this is more of a, actually, let me see here. Sometimes I come in here, I gotta click these over a little bit, get this in. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, anyways, guys, we have, reached a very important milestone uh, to me and to you guys. I wanted to talk about that milestone today. So one year ago yesterday, which was July 7th, I had posted my very first, my very first YouTube video. Which means that I've been doing YouTube Medic Magic for one year and one day. And I'm gonna talk to you guys today about the five things that I've learned from being a YouTuber for the past year. All right, so looking back at that video, it is it is cringeworthy. I'll put a link for it up here somewhere if you guys would like to watch it. It was actually right after I got into a car accident and I had my loaner car. What was going on was I had this Chevy Sonic and now let me look up the video here real quick. So that video right now has a whopping 4,727 views. One year ago today, seven things I love about the Chevy song. Uh, like I said, the video was pretty cringeworthy. I actually had my NASA hat on, but the videos that came after that, one trading the Corvette for a GTR, we went with Ben's G uh, Corvette to look at a GTR. That was kind of clickbaity. That was dumb. The 2017 Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix, which is crazy because that's going on right now, was another video. Um, and then we get into a 15,000 mile review of the GTI. And then my very first popular is what I would call it video. The Mark 7 GTI APR Stage 1 review, which has 53,715 views right now with 148 comments, 214 thumbs up, and 67 thumbs down. Now, the entire reason that I made that video was because I had looked for it everywhere else before I got the tune, and I could not find a good video of somebody in their car talking about the experience, the differences between before they were tuned, after they were tuned, they were all just dumb videos that didn't give me what I want. Which is basically the entire reason that I started the channel was to provide content that wasn't already there. There was a white space for this kind of stuff, stuff so I thought, you know what, I wanna create these videos so that other guys with Mark 7s can have the information that I haven't had that I was looking for. So that was probably one of my most popular videos and I think we're up to almost 160 videos from that time last year to this year. Which, if I was really on my game, that would be 365 videos. So let's get on to the actual list. So number one, the first thing that I've learned after one year of being a YouTuber is you get out of YouTube what you put into it. Now when I say that, I mean more videos means more views, which means more subscribers, but in the same aspect, a higher volume of crappier videos is only gonna make your subscribers and the people that you are trying to entertain or inter inform upset. Now, when I look at my videos, some of the ones that are more popular that have 60,000 views, 50,000 views, I think to myself, how in the world do I have 4,000 subscribers, right under 4,000 subscribers uh, right now, which again, today is July 8th, 2018. Um, for future reference, whenever I'm watching this video later on, uh, we are at 3,976 at this point in time. But how does that happen? And what I've realized is it all comes from sharing or when somebody watches your video and they like it enough that they're gonna either post it on their Facebook or they'll post it on their Twitter or they'll post it somewhere so that it gets out more, more people can see it and you're gonna end up being higher in the ranks. Um, another good way is whenever you get more likes versus dislikes, comments versus no comments. I try, try really hard to reply to all the comments uh, that I get and it's been getting harder and harder the more people are following the videos, the more people are commenting, it's harder to do. But like I said, when you do that, your videos are gonna rank higher, your subscribers are gonna be happier. Somebody might have commented on your video that wasn't a subscriber and you replying back to them might get them to subscribe. Putting in more effort with editing, which is something I honestly need to work on. My videos are just, my videos are very much, I pick up the camera and just go on with what we're doing. There's not really any planning. We're more just like a bunch of guys hanging out. Internet comedians is what I like to call myself. and. I feel like if I put a little bit more effort into editing and planning and things like that, things could be going um, 
better than they are now. I'm not saying that they're not going well. Getting 4,000 subscribers in one year, and uh, right now we are at, I think, 714,000 views for the channel completely, which is insane. I can remember whenever I was searching and hunting for 10,000 so I could become monetized. Uh, that was like the big thing, 10,000 views, and now. It's crazy, like in a day I might get 7,000 views, 10,000 views, it's, it's crazy. Number two, the second thing I've really picked up and learned is influencing people, influencing you guys uh, is awesome. There's There's been so many people that have told me, hey, like, you're the reason I got a GTI, or you're the reason I got these mods, or you're the reason why I got an S2000, or I want to turbo my S2000. And that really hits home for me, it makes me feel good, because I was in the same shoes whenever I used to watch Subaru WX fan with his BRZ, he would do basically a weekly update every single week with his brand new BRZ. This is right whenever they came out, uh, which is super important for videos and how well your videos are gonna do, how current they are with things that are going on in the world, which I'll talk about that in a minute. I can remember the night I got my, uh, my FRS, I tagged him in a post on Instagram. Actually, let me see if I can find it. All right, so here it is. This is the first picture I ever took of my FRS when I picked it up. It says it was on October 14th, 2014, and I had tagged Matt Moran Motoring, which is what it says right now, and he said, congrats, man, enjoy it. That meant the world to me. I, I sometimes forget how important it is to interact with people, and that's why I like getting on the comments, and I like doing all that stuff, and that just goes back to how much you put in is how much you get out. And I like, like I said, back to the second point, influencing people and just being, being like this, it's almost like this long distance friend or this person that's helping somebody out. Just, it, it means a lot to the people making the videos. And I, I think it's like cliche when people say like, we the creators, like we the people on YouTube doing stuff. But I guess I do consider myself a YouTube creator or an influencer or whatnot, but it's it's definitely cool to be able to make an impact on people's lives. The third thing I've, I've uh, the third thing I've learned over the last year um, is there's a lot of hate out there and there's a lot of people that like to talk trash and I can remember early on um, somebody was hating on one of my videos and I called them out on it and the OG boys were like, Ross, like, just take it easy man, don't lay into them, like, it's not worth it, like, don't let this guy get underneath your skin, I can't even remember what it was. I remember I told, I, I do remember this part though, I told the guy, oh his car was a DSG, I was like, you probably don't even know how to drive a manual, and then I, I went back and looked at his channel, saw he had zero subscribers, and I said, he had like two or three videos, I was like, hey buddy, sorry that you don't know how to drive a manual, um, I subbed to your channel just because I saw you had zero subs, and I want to watch your, your uh, videos coming up, or something dumb like that, just because I thought it was a, a hard ass, and I uh, thought it was funny, but I don't really do that anymore, if anybody spreads hate on the channel i usually comment back with a hey thanks for watching um thanks for giving me another view uh thanks for watching that ad i think it's funny because that's just who i am and it's just it's it's funny how much hate there is but then like i said again the og boys i can remember whenever i said uh in one of my videos anybody that sees hate in the comments just hit them with a trigger that's all you gotta say trigger you guys have been doing that and we're doing that for a while but i don't really get too much hate on on uh, the videos lately um more the stuff at this point in time I've kind of gotten away from the aspect of I want to create videos for this specific reason because it's not out there. Because I've done that for everything I wanted to do it for. I've done that for everything I've wanted to do it for, if that makes any sense. So now it's like I'm getting to the point where I'm doing these videos where in my head I feel like this shop and what we do here is like our own American chopper. And that's like kind of like what I have in the back of my head, like what I want it to be like. like I. Me and Ben always grew up watching like American Chopper or like Monster Garage and cool things like that and uh, I just feel like we have our own little episode of stuff going on and all the cool things that we do. Uh, some of the mods that we do on the GTI or whatnot, it, it really helps if it's something popular. And what I mean by that is like something current and how I can show you guys that is my most popular video right now, which it doesn't sound like much, but it has like 70,000 views, almost 70,000. It was the Pops and Cracks tune from APR, which I was lucky enough to go stage to, which you guys uh, helped me get to 1,000 subscribers. That was my big thing, saying I'm gonna get 1,000 subscribers, I'm gonna go stage two, got the downpipe, got the tune. Uh, I was lucky enough that that happened right at the point in time, it was like a week after that was released. So anybody that has a Volkswagen or an Audi or whatever that had APR or was interested in it, obviously is gonna go on YouTube and say, oh, APR cracks and pops and tunes. I wonder what that sounds like. I was lucky enough to have a catchy thumbnail on there. Uh, I can remember I almost didn't make it to the appointment because I got stuck in a car accident 
um, in the traffic from a car accident, which you guys can watch that video up here somewhere. But it was snowing real bad, so the lady was like, ah, everyone's late, just come in, bring it in. Made a dumb video, and like I was honestly so close to not even posting it because it's just me laughing hysterically. It's almost like so dumb. Like, it's, it's not nearly as bad now because we don't have the muffler to lead on it, but when we had the muffler to lead on it, it was awful. It was just like, it sounded like gunfire. Um, but that, that video did really well. That video got me a lot of subscribers. The breakdown, the breakdown of the money that it made off the ads is all right, you know, it's not the best. I think the, the video that's maybe the most money uh, is the one where we did the oil change uh, for the GTI where I said, I'm never going back to the dealer again after this. And with that kind of stuff, it, what I've realized is, I don't want to make titles or videos that are clickbait. Like what I what I think clickbait is is you see a thumbnail or a title that has absolutely nothing to do with the video. But I think there's a fine line between making an attractive thumbnail and grabbing somebody's attention as they're scrolling down through their subscri their subscriptions or their videos that are recommended that you say, "Hey, that sounds interesting." And I try and pick from that, but I don't like clickbaiting. Uh, but I digress. Let me get back to this point. What was it? What is even that point? Oh, the haters, right? Don't listen to the haters. There's, at least for me, there's far more good guys out there than there are haters. You call them out, just say, hey, thanks for watching, and like say, man, that's not, that's not cool. It's so, it's so funny how when you call people out and they don't expect it, and then they say sorry, but it's fine. It's, people make dumb decisions. I make dumb decisions. I say things I shouldn't say on this channel that, I don't know, make me look like an idiot, make me look dumber than I am or whatever. But to follow up with that is if you're making videos and you're, you're thinking about being a creator and you're thinking about putting yourself out there, you have to realize that you just can't, you can't listen to people, you can't care what people think about you. You can't worry about the views. I mean, like when I first started making videos, like it was like terrible, like 10 views here, 10 views there. And like I said, it's crazy to think that now, like the channel as a whole has almost three quarters of a million, three quarter quarters of a million views. Like 700, almost 750,000 people have watched my dumb face talk about GTI stuff or S2000 stuff or like watch us do dumb stuff here. It's just, it just blows me away to think of my grandparents and probably my parents combined and maybe even my whole family have never even interacted with 750,000 people. Like that is just mind blowing. Like to think about that, Heinz Field for the Pittsburgh Steelers holds about 70,000 people. That's like me standing at the 50 yard line with it sold out pack doing something dumb about like a GTI or me like making some dumb joke or mounting the balance of my tires times 10, like 10 different times. Like it's just, it's just mind blowing. But then I think to myself, how can, how have I not converted those 700,000 people to subscribe to my channel? You know what I mean? The number four point is it's definitely harder than it looks. Um, I, like I said, I have about 160,000, uh, 160,000, 160 videos up. And it's crazy because it's, you never know which one's going to be the one that kind of helps you out. It gives you a bumper. Like whenever I did that, uh, cracks and pops, video like I almost jumped like a thousand subscribers within like a really short amount of time it's insane like I went from a thousand to two thousand like that and this past three thousand to four thousand has kind of slowed down the content's been a little bit slower I haven't been putting up as many videos my biggest problem is I'll go through these peaks and valleys of uh, lots of videos not that many videos lots of videos not that many videos I'll get frustrated with something and then I'll get inspired and frustrated and inspired and frustrated and inspired. So it, it's definitely harder than it looks. These people that are very successful on YouTube and have lots of subscribers and are making a very good living for themselves have put in the hard work. Uh, it's Nothing's made overnight with YouTube. But your one video that might get a million views or two million views or 500,000 that bumps you up to your subscriber level that is going to provide you an amount of people that continuously watch your videos is like your big break, like in Hollywood or like television or whatever. Like you're just waiting for your big break. You never know when it's going to come. You know what I mean, so it, every video that I post has that potential. One of my biggest faults with the channel is I don't put in enough effort into editing, uh, which I'm hoping I did a little bit more different stuff in the beginning of this video that if you guys noticed that, let me know if you liked it or not. I, I really want to put more effort into that. And I hate talking about things I want to do. Uh, I just watched a video the other day about, um, from Casey Neistat, which I love watching Casey. And I really took this to heart, intent versus action. So if I sit here and say, I want to put more effort into my editing, uh, that's intent. But what I would rather do is do more editing, do better setup shots, plan my shots, plan my videos uh, without actually talking about it and just have the action. Um, people will rip you apart on, on YouTube if you say you're gonna do something and you don't do it. It's just one of those things that kind of happens.
more action, less talking about intent. I'm rambling on again. Number five, and this is kind of like my last full bullet. Doing YouTube and being a creator is a lot of fun. I feel like you have to have a passion to do it. Like you have to be passionate about what you're doing and the content you're creating, the people you're influencing, and the people that are commenting and saying, hey, like, thanks for doing this, thanks for doing that. I, I just think that it's so cool that as long as YouTube doesn't del get deleted off the internet, uh, my grandkids are probably gonna be watching these videos when I'm nine years old, or my great grandkids, hey, what's up guys, whenever I'm gone. And I think these, I treat these as videos a lot like home videos. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is to sit around like at the house, like have a couple beers and just watch the funny stuff that like me, Ben, Dave, and Teddy do. And like, it's just, it's just like home videos and it's so cool. It's, it's just a blast. And if you're kind of on the fence about it, I think you should definitely give it a try. Grinding and keep working and keeping your head up and just not even paying attention to the hate or the lack of views is very, very important. On that note, let's make this a little less serious and do the old normal Russell uh, walk around vlog. Update with the GTI right now. The wheels are on, the wheels are rubbing a little bit. Uh, it's not bad when it's just sitting here. Uh, what's bad is whenever I go over uh, some some really big bumps on the highway and I'm cruising, it, it makes just a little bit of noise. Uh, let me see real quick, actually. I can not even get my finger there. It's not like this is tore up, but I really like the look of this. I have not gotten an alignment yet. Um, just because everywhere that I've been looking has been like super booked up, which really sucks and isn't really the best excuse in the world. Thankfully, I've been driving the S2000 uh, for the past couple days, so that's all going good. Anyways, guys, I'm like out of breath. This is a long video. I'm up to like 20 minutes recording. Hopefully, this video is only like 10 minutes long with me cutting out all the butts. That's about all I have to say about that. Here's the one year of uh, being a YouTuber, and we're going to see what's going to happen within the next year. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos, for subscribing, for commenting. It means a lot to me, you know, it really does. And the OG guys that comment on every video, like every video, uh, it's cool, it's really cool. On that note, guys, I'm gonna go edit this real quick and get it up. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, drop me a comment. Share the videos if you like it. That's how we, we get the, the numbers up. We make more progress, but uh, again, guys, thank you so much. This wouldn't be possible without all of you guys, and I really do appreciate it, so. On that note, is that the second time I've said that? Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.